Hey everyone, so it's around 9 p.m. in California right now. Are you looking now. here, by the way? It's 9 p.m. in California right now. Unfortunately, this was the only time I could have my husband on my video um, as my guest. So we're going to be recording uh, Old Wives Tales and go through one by one the Old Wives Tales to see before the gender reveal. But spoiler alert, we actually know what the gender is. Uh, because I'm currently on my 14 weeks in my second trimester and we found out last last week. So um, we'll be revealing to you guys at the end after we go over the Old Wives Tales. Old Wives Tales is basically based on Wikipedia. It's like an expression referring to superstitions um, or tales, I guess, that older women passed down to younger generation um i don't know if they're accurate i mean i feel like they will be not that accurate <laughs> but we'll like see a lot of yapping to me. <laughs> <laughs> but it's kind of fun to do with your spouse um before you find out the gender and um yeah for us we found out the gender through the nipt test um but we will do we will take this test without any bias with the best of our abilities, okay? Mm -hmm. So the first one is going to be morning sickness. So morning sickness in my first trimester. Yes. Yes, I did. I vomited twice, um, but I was feeling nauseous all throughout the first trimester. Okay, the second one is heartbeat. We found at the our first ultrasound, uh, which was eight at eight weeks, it was. Do you remember what it was? It was like one fifty, right? No, it was one seventy four. Oh, yeah, that's pretty high. It was greater than one forty, oh. so we circled it. So on the left column, the blue is a uh, boy, and then on the right column is girls. Okay. So next one is cravings. So first trimester, I was craving certain kind of foods. Um, do you know what it was? Salty or sweet? I mean, you were craving a lot of things, so I, I didn't really know. But okay, but yeah. there <laughs> there was a specific type I was craving, and it was fruits. So mm. I was craving a lot of fruits. So I will circle that as sweet. So, so far we have first as yes to morning sickness, we have greater than 140 heartbeat, and we have um, sweet cravings in our first trimester. So, so far, girl is the gender. According um, to the wi old wives' tales. Yeah, according to the old wives' tales. Also, I didn't know what you were craving because literally one day you're craving mango salsa, another day you're craving fried chicken, and another day you're craving Panda Express. Yes, so, so like, I... Yeah. But overall, I think... Overall, I was craving fruit. fruits. Yeah. yeah, yeah. So there were definitely days when I was craving carbs, like fried foods, um, ice cream, like desserts, etc. But... Yeah, overall, I was craving, like, throughout the day, like, a bunch of different fruits. Kiwis, watermelon, mango, strawberries, blueberries, apples, oranges, like, everything. And everything, pretty much everything was in the sweet category, even if it was desserts. Mm -hmm. Okay, so the next one is complexion. So do you think my skin was, like, glowing or was I breaking out in my first trimester? Are you asking me? Yeah. Oh, are these questions all asking me, by yeah. the way? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I just um, wanted to see like what you noticed or you observed. Oh, okay. Then yeah. Okay, yeah, you're breaking out. Yeah, I was breaking out. So I had acne on my jawline and some on my forehead. Okay, the next one is skin texture. I don't think you would know this one. Dry or silky? I don't, I don't I think it was dry. Yeah, it was yeah. actually very dry. And that is our first boy. Okay. Um, sleeping side, left or right. So this one is kind of like tricky because I don't really have a favorite left or right side. I kind of just sleep on my back. Yeah, that's so true. 
for this one, we'll just kind of cross it out, I guess. You can circle both. Both? Okay. <laughs> okay. What about for balance? Did you ever think I was clumsy or graceful in my first trimester? Uh, I, mean, I don't think you're either either or, but if I had to pick, I'd pick clumsy because just in general, I think you're more on the clumsy side. Clumsy. <laughs> yeah, I don't think there was a change in that. I think in general, I'm just clumsy overall. <laughs> so we'll just say clumsy. Okay, yep. headaches. Did I ever complain I had headaches? Yes. First trimester? Well, I don't know first trimester, but definitely. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes. A lot of headaches. What do you mean? You yes. Still I have headaches. Yeah. yeah. Nowadays, I have headaches from not sleeping well. Mm. Um, but the days that I do sleep well, I don't have that many headaches. But yes, I did have headaches my first trimester. Um, oh. Okay, daddy's weight. So your weight. I don't my know. weight? Yeah, I don't know what why the... that's relevant, but it asks, did your weight stay the same or did it gain the first trimester? The first trimester? Yeah. Um, Do you it's feel probably like the, the same. same, right? Yeah. If anything, I lost weight because I just wasn't, I was stressed out, I wasn't eating <laughs> well. <laughs> the yeah. next one is cold feet. I didn't really have cold feet. My feet temperature just stayed the same. So I'll mark no for that. Okay, so so far for morning sickness, we have yes. For a heart rate, we have above 140. For cravings, sweet. For um, flexion, we have breaking out. For skin texture is dry. For I, I didn't really have any, so we'll just give one points each. And then for the balance, clumsy, because I'm always clumsy, I guess. And that doesn't really change. Headaches is yes. For daddy's weight, it's the same. And for cold feet, I marked no. And basically, the Chinese calendar uh, asks for the conception month and the age at conception. So I was 28 when we conceived, right? 28. No idea what we're looking at. <laughs> so, month of conception is when we conceived the baby, which was March. It was March? Yeah. So, March and... I March have... what, though? Age? Well, no, no, no. This oh. one's age at conception. So, so the... you're 28. Yeah, 28. So, it's male. Wait, wait, January. Oh, yeah. Yeah. So, so, based on the Chinese cal calendar, it says boy. And then based on the Mayan calendar, which is like <laughs> pretty much the same thing, March 28th, so it's like... It's a boy so, again? Yeah. So based on both Chinese and Mayan calendar, it's boy. <laughs> Where are you going to find that? <laughs> okay, um, next one is a ring test. Ring test? Yeah, What's a ring that? test, you're supposed to like, you're supposed to get like a string and then see if it like goes back and forth. What? <laughs> do you want to do that? No. no okay, no, okay. No. Okay, we'll just like cross that out. We'll just yeah, not that's, that's do that. Some the witchcraft. <laughs> Next one is mom's intuition. So I thought I was going to actually have a girl. You did? Yeah. Initially, like the first two weeks, I, I wanted a boy. But then the more I like more weeks went by, I was like, okay, I'm feeling nauseous. I'm craving a lot of sweets. And people say that tends to be a girl so I kind of knew maybe like okay it's a girl what about you you thought it was a girl yeah yeah me I had no idea but I was open to anything any okay, boy you had or... absolutely no idea like you didn't even like think no I mean if I had to pick girl but like that's just because I probably you know low-key wanted to have a girl <laughs> a daughter mm-hmm but it's, I don't think it was like, oh yeah, it, it's a girl, yeah. But if I had to pick, like, a pick girl. Yeah, the only reason why I thought it was a boy is because mm -hmm. um, you had a dream that oh, it was a boy. So okay, okay. Yeah. That's the only reason why I thought, like, oh, maybe it can be a boy. Yeah. Yeah, okay. More, more, more or less. Okay, so for the Chinese calendar, 
So for the Chinese calendar, it says it's a boy. Mayan is boy. We crossed that out because we don't want to do that. <laughs> for the mom's intuition, I put girl. And then dad's intuition, he low-key kind of thought maybe girl. Okay. For girl, for boy, it's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And then for girls, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Hey. Dang, that's really close. So seven and eight, really, really close. <laughs> yes, so that ends this portion of tonight's video. Um, I will post the video where we react to finding out our gender in the car after our ultrasound. We're about to find out the gender of the baby. How's <laughs> the gender of the video? About to find out the gender of the baby. Are you a girl or a boy? Oh, my oh gosh. Gosh. it's a question mark. This is when we find out if you're gonna be Noah or Kayla. Okay, we'll see. We'll see. Okay. Here we go. Boy or girl? Oh, wait, I can't open this. Hey, <laughs> Can you see? Oh, <gasps> it's a girl! Oh. Yay! Wow. What we hope for? Cute Jesus! Wow. We would have been fine with boy or girl. Uh, we're just excited because everyone. We, we just assumed we thought it was a girl because of your symptoms and then yeah. some people thought it was, other people thought it was a girl but the fact that it actually mm -hmm. is a girl bruh what the heck <laughs> hello Kayla <laughs> don't test me <laughs> that's <laughs>